Hello, Mayor John Tory here. Thank you for joining us for today's virtual National Indigenous Peoples Day ceremony. I acknowledge that the land I'm speaking to you from is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Huron-Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. I also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. I welcome you to find out which treaty and land you are on by visiting nativeland.ca. I was offered this tobacco by Selena Young, the Director of the City's Indigenous Affairs Office, to share my heartfelt greetings with you all on this National Indigenous Peoples Day. Every year, on June 21st, we celebrate and embrace the diversity of First Nations, Mét Métis and Inuit across our city and all of Turtle Island, which many know as North America. It's the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. It's a day of particular significance for Indigenous communities. Because of COVID-19 restrictions, we're not able to gather together in Nathan Phillips Square as we normally would do to honour this occasion with an in-person sunrise ceremony. But I hope you will find this virtual event equally meaningful. These last few weeks have been especially challenging for all of us, but especially challenging for Indigenous communities as many continue to feel the pain and the sadness and the trauma following the discovery of 215 children buried in Kamloops in the Tecamsaloops Sewepsimuk First Nation Territory. As we continue to mourn these children and all those known and unknown who never returned home from Canada's residential and day schools and all those who survived, it is our hope that this ceremony will provide an opportunity for healing. We're privileged to welcome elders Jimmy Dick and Marie Godette to guide us through a sunrise ceremony experience and a virtual tour of the ceremony space. The actual ceremony itself will not be filmed as it is sacred and deeply personal. But this walkthrough will teach us more about the elements of the ceremony and the importance of Indigenous traditions while respecting at the same time cultural protocols. I'm also pleased to welcome Chief Stacy Laforme of the Mississaugas of the Credit to share his greetings. And song is an important part of healing as well in Indigenous culture, so today you'll be hearing some traditional drumming. Today and, and every day, I encourage all Torontonians to seek out resources and events and learn about events so that they can learn more about Indigenous histories and strengths and contributions, as well as the resilience of all Indigenous peoples, their rich and distinct cultures, their beautiful languages. While we honour the history and traditions of indig Indigenous peoples, it is also important to acknowledge the vibrant, contemporary Indigenous communities living right here, right now, in our city. And the City of Toronto is committed to advancing truth and reconciliation and justice, as well as taking accountability to make good on our promises. You can find out more information about the City's commitment to Indigenous peoples, their histories and upcoming community events, and much more on the City's website, toronto.ca. I have accepted this tobacco with my left hand, the hand closest to my heart, and I will keep it safe until I can place it in a good way, outdoors, in a sacred space that is close to my heart. I wish everyone a happy and healing National Indigenous Peoples Day. Ani, with you. Gima R. Stacey Laforme of the Mississaugas of the Credit of the Anishinaabe. I'd like to acknowledge the Creator, the world around us, and our place within it. I'd like to acknowledge the many nations that walked this land in the past, the many nations that walk it today and welcome you to the treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe. I am Gima or Ogama. You know, the term for my people for leader is Gima or Ogama. The term chief was a European construct, so I give it back to you. I still refer to myself as chief, but only out of respect for you and only until you understand. Now, Indigenous Peoples Day or Month is a chance to raise awareness of the history of the land, your history, all of our history, whether you arrive today or you've been here forever. It's the opportunity to learn and engage. It is important to the indigenous people as we have history that needs to be told and understood. It is also important for the non-indigenous because it's difficult and challenging to ask questions. No one wants to say the wrong thing or hurt somebody's feelings. And this is a time when we have and give permission to ask difficult questions, to ask challenging things, to talk in a safe environment, to do and learn without judgment. So yes, it's a time to celebrate, 
the culture and heritage that we bring to this country. But it's also time to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Chimigwich. Be safe, be heard, Lala P. Ani, good morning. Ajoshko Benesi Kwe Tishnakaz Makwa Dodem. My name is Kelly Hashimi, and I just shared with you my spirit name, Blue Thunderbird Woman, and I'm from the Bear Clan. I'm originally from Treaty 1 Territory, that's in Manitoba, and I just wanted to acknowledge the territory that we're, we're in right now, um, the territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit. I've been here 13 years. I've just been so thankful and grateful for the life we've been able to make here in this territory. Miigwech. This morning, we're going to be hosting a walkthrough of the sunrise ceremony, a very significant ceremony for, for us, where we, you know, acknowledge a new day and um, share our gratitude for all that we have and, and to acknowledge all the elements and, and all that beautiful stuff that, um, that we appreciate, right? Uh, we have elders Jimmy Dick and Marie Gadette that will be that will be sharing this ceremony with us. Um, we're unable to film it just because of the sacred components that are involved in the ceremony. So we have done our best to try and um, share this virtually with everyone in a good way, but also still respecting our um, traditional protocols where we would not be filming some of these sacred items. But one day soon we will be able to gather in these sacred spaces, in these circles together once again. So I hope you find this meaningful and helpful um, in your learning journey. And if you're already, you know, um, if you've already taken part in these ceremonies, um, just miigwech for, for joining us and sending your, your, your good intentions and your good energy on this special day. So I just wanted to acknowledge that too. Miigwech. seven children, five boys, two girls, and a mother to my niece. And uh, we live here in uh, what we call Toronto. And uh, Toronto is uh, a Haudenosaunee word, which means uh, where the trees cross. Um, it was, a, it was a, a place to meet. At a, and so Toronto grew. I was raised in Toronto. And uh, <clears throat> My mother, my late mother, Grandma Rose Logan, was from uh, Manitoulin Island and um, a first language speaker of Anishinaabemowin. And, um, and unfortunately, she was one of the ones that had gone to residential school. So um, we were raised in Toronto and language wasn't passed fluently uh, to us. Um, so in my life, I'm 
reclaiming my language because it's in my blood, it's in my DNA, and I'm, I'm reclaiming my language, uh, learning uh, to become a little bit more fluent, and I found myself in a position teaching the language at the Kapapa Macha Kwe, uh, Wandering Spirit School, formerly uh, First Nations School, uh, located here in Toronto. Uh, I'm commonly known as Jimmy Dick. I'm born and raised in Moose Factory, Ontario, and um, I migrated to Toronto in 1975. Thank you for allowing us to uh, share in, in, in part of who we are as Indigenous people from Ajika Menacing, from Turtle Island, um, some of the knowledge. And this morning we had a beautiful opportunity to come together to um, have this uh, greet, greet this day, uh, greet this sun. We call this sunrise ceremony and behind these clouds and rain is a sun. We give thanks for this new day, for the sun that rises again. And, and we give thanks to everything that came before us. Um, and um, all of the things that came before us is cre in creation. So, um, uh, this, this fire is an extension of that sun and this fire is the men's responsibility and uh, the women's responsibility is the water and we, we come together um, to greet the day um, in this moon month which is very special uh, which we call Ode Mengizes, Strawberry Moon. This moon is the solstice, the longest day and the shortest night. And in Anishinaabeg, we didn't have calendars or clocks. We measured time by the way the sun moves. And um, through observation, um, acknowledge that this day uh, uh, is the longest day. And we give thanks to our grandfather's son, our Mishomiskizes, for that, that time in which it rises and, and it sets. And, everything, the celebration that we can do in this day for um, everything that we have. It's, you know, just marks the first day of summer, but it's the uh, solstice and also, you know, everything that we did from the point of when we had the shortest, shortest day, which is a uh, winter solstice to the summer solstice, um, all that took place within that time frame. And, uh, it is acknowledged as Ode Mengizes because it's one of the first uh, fruits and medicines that grow in this moon month. So this, in this territory, it may differ from territory to territory, but in this territory we acknowledge the uh, strawberry moon. Um, and it's uh, um, uh, also a, a celebration, but also to give thanks for everything that we have. You know, without this earth, without the sky, you know, Mother Earth, Father Sky, uh, Grandfather Sun, Grandmother Moon, um, that, that's the natural law, natural order of things. And uh, we wouldn't be here if, if they didn't follow that order. So we give thanks for those simplicities of, of life and, uh, and everything in between, you know, the stars, the Anangosak. Uh, that star, they say the star nation is from the place that we came, you know, from that uh, the, the hole in the sky. And I shared a story earlier about how um, Sky Woman fell from the hole in the sky and grabbed onto the plant. And she was offered a place on the back of uh, this one, Majike. Uh, um, it was a, a larger turtle than this, obviously. Um, and uh, you know, it offered its back, and so we 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 uh, acknowledge this uh, North America. We we don't see the borders as Anishinaabeg people. Um, this whole North America is is what we call Turtle Island, and uh, and and if you look there there if you look on the map of North America, you and and you're, you 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 can eventually see that that turtle, the shape of that turtle, and. Uh, and on the back of the turtle are these sections. There's 13 sections. And what they represent is the 13 moons. 
and then our moon months, I guess, uh, January, February, March. So we have indigenous names for those moon months, and the the names that I have for that are here for the moon months in this territory is is a little bit different. Um, so there's 13 sections that represent the moon months, and then there's 28 sections around the uh, perimeter of the turtle that represents every day of the month. And so this this one is used uh, as a teaching resource, as as um, uh, knowledge. This is like a, a script, um, but it's it's a hidden script. You know, nobody could could take this away from us or hide it from us because it's right here. So, um, so we're giving thanks to uh, through the fire. We use the sacred fire. Um, as a uh, a communication to to creation to our our uh, our Gishmanitu, our creator we use this fire to make that communication happen so the the sacredness of water is that if we didn't have that water we wouldn't be here simple as that and and they say that um, before we had actual earth here the earth was a ball of water and and there was a time where the, um, the 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 rock fire formation within that ball of water uh, exploded and rose up out of the water and created that steam so that the world could be uh, so we could so there could be life on this earth it, it prepared it and there are ceremonies that go with that we acknowledge the water as medicine and you know our bodies are made up of you know 80% water and uh, you know our you know our, our eyes our organs you know everything is is uh, like I mean if we just didn't have water we just wouldn't be here we'd be shriveled up somewhere um, and so um, it also uh, represents that time that you uh, are, are conceived and you grow within your mother's womb and that you are encased in that sacred water and 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 that's the most sacred water um, and 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 then when we come into this world we come into this world through that that water passage and and uh, that river flow and the water comes in in the many forms like from the every dew drop on every blade of grass all the way you know as it the evaporated water that we don't see up into the clouds and and then through the rains and the thunders and it comes back down and it has its own beautiful cycle you know man cannot control that so we come together as this this uh prayer prayerful circle um and uh and sometimes things are left unsaid uh, for whatever reason so um, everybody is also given that tobacco, that sema, so that they can offer something on behalf of themselves or maybe somebody's ill in their family or struggling and you didn't want to voice it. You can use that tobacco to do that, offer, uh, offer that tobacco for that or also to give thanks because there's so much to be thankful for. And we might have thought of something that wasn't thought of while we did pipe. And then the, seed, the tobacco goes first and then the cedar. And if it was big pieces of cedar, it would have made a larger crackling noise. But it, it makes a crackling noise when you add the cedar after the tobacco. So it, it, it gives a sound to, to the, the intention that was put in there. And this fire, like I said, they, is, they, they call it the old man fire spirit. You know? And, uh, and then we, we offer only sacred items here, you know, like tobacco, cedar, medicine, you know, and when people pass away, we make a fire for them, you know. So we, we, this fire gives us an opportunity for us to, to tell them things, you know, sometimes we forget we're not there to see them their last time here. So when we build a fire, they say they can hear us. 
Annie Bojo, Falashide in Dijnikaz, Takaronto in Donjiba. Hi, my name is Falashide and I'm from Toronto. And today I will be singing the grandmother song for you. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> 